You can use the Insta360 flow to take high quality 360 photos that are stitched inside the Insta360 app. This makes 360 photography for virtual tours and real estate accessible to anyone with a mobile phone and it's dead simple to do. It's important that the flow is stable for these shots so you must use a tripod and not handheld. The Flow does come with an integrated tripod and selfie stick which is useful for a lot of the Flow's features and it's fine for 360 photos if it's on a flat stable surface. However bear in mind that if you're putting your Flow on the floor and you're doing a property photo or creating a virtual tour this will be a dog's point of view which can look a bit strange. So for these shots you want to try and raise the flow higher which we'll look at in a minute. But this could be as simple as placing it on a worktop or table. I'm using an iPhone 14 Pro Max and the results that you'll get using the Flow will vary depending on which mobile you're using. The best way to mount your phone is to remove the magnetic grip from the Flow and for these 360 shots you have to put the phone into the mount the other way around. And for 360 photos you need to be selecting the Pano Photo option. So slide along to Pano Photo at the bottom and then you'll see the 360 icon on the screen here. You'll also see a graphic on the screen which will indicate where the cradle needs to be positioned on the phone because the magnetic cradle needs to be positioned at the lower end of the phone just to enable it to balance properly. Now mount the camera onto the gimbal. When you press the shutter button there is a five second countdown as standard but you can adjust that here and this gives you time to hide or get out of the room whichever you want to do. Because the camera only shoots in one direction you can follow behind the camera but unless the floor is solid you do risk making the camera bounce as you move around it which may affect your final photo stitching. So you're better to leave the room or hide unless of course you want to be in the shot. So you simply press the button and let the flow do its thing. A higher angle shot is more ideal for virtual tours and to do that you can use the quarter inch thread which is integrated into the base of the flow. And you can mount it on a weighted monopod or a robust tripod. Even with a weighted monopod though and because of the height and the fact that it takes 18 photos it does still seem to bounce around a bit which can cause major stitching errors. On a tripod though the results are much better if you want to work from a higher angle. In this video I use this Valbon tripod which is ancient, it's like 30 years old but it does a good job but you can get a more compact version of this now and I'll leave a link in the description below. This tripod did a brilliant job of keeping it stable and even though the legs are huge the app actually managed to patch around them quite effectively so there wouldn't be much to erase to make the photo cleaner. The flow isn't a replacement for a 360 camera and it will throw up more stitching errors inside and this is because inside in particular there are a lot more things that are in close proximity to the camera there are a lot more lines to contend with and also is stitching together 18 photos. If you want to improve the stitching you can turn on save unstitched photos in the menu and this will save all 18 photos independently on your phone so you can stitch them together in a third party software. I thought the results outside were really impressive and this is because outside you have a lot more in your favour and you can take advantage of the daylight and then mix this with the latest phone camera capabilities and everything just seemed to really pop. I didn't have anything close to me outside so the stitching was easier for the flow and the results were much better than the interior shots. The app automatically stitches your final photo but it only gives you an output of 18 megapixels so 6080 by 3040. In the app you can reframe your 360 photo and export it or you can export the native 360 image and then create a virtual tour and another software or you can play around with the AI animation features in the Insta360 app. And these create a short animated video from your photo where you can choose the aspect ratio, the music and have a fun little clip to share on social media. The Flow offers a very cost effective way of getting 360 photos. But if you'd prefer a dedicated 360 camera then you want to check out this video next where I talk about my favorite 360 camera the Insta360 X3.